your excellencies, very senior officers serving our program. It's a nine-month program designed to provide professional military training for university graduates. The Director of Service Commission 28 cadets were enlisted as civilians who were selected after a rigorous process based on their professional competencies in various other parts. Number three and four guys. Number one guard is commanded by Alpha Squadron Senior on the officer J.I. Atabu. He holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Aircraft Engineering from the Nigerian Air Force Institute of Technology. The sub guard commanders are cadets. U Kabiru and Pedat AM Alta. Number two guard is commanded by Pedat SS Labara. He holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Science from Ahmad Bello University. The sub guard commanders are Cadet J.C. Aboy and Cadet C.O. Beckley. Cadet 
Chicho, Val Tenet, VA Mukoro, is carrying the Naval Training Command Regiment of is commanded by trainee Bogiande. Number 5 division is assisted by trainee
the current formation of the review officer. Permit me to recognize the executive governor of Castilla State, heavily represented by the Special Security Advisor on Employment, Al Haji Hussein Kayadua. You're most welcome, sir. Permit me to also recognize the executive governor of Delta State, heavily represented by the permanent secretary, policy and security service, Mr. T.C. Agro you're most welcome, sir.
get the cross session like this. Everybody from this in mind. Mm -hmm. We had an officer in front of can I stand there? The parade commander is marching towards the reviewing officer to seek permission to commence the displays put together by passing out trainees of the Nigerian Navy Basic Training School Batch 31. May I have your permission? The main officer has a seat. Come and answer. Next is the diamond formation, which troops can use to provide all-round defense while advancing. The last but not the least is the extended fire formation. It is used to cover wider area. It has the advantage to enable troops fire evenly when in contact with the adversary. The review officer, sir, in advancing to contact, Several formations could be decided by the commander to take advantage of the situation or the terrain. These formations are generally adopted for search and rescue operations. Next is the Fire and Movement Group. They are demonstrating the use of caterpillar, V formation, and flanking metal to approach the adversary. Oh. 
grab some passengers along Abuja Kaduna Road. The Nigerian Navy Basic Training School Batch 31 Training Special Force Team were assigned to carry out search and rescue the passengers and to kill or capture the leader of the set, Malam Umar Yaru, if seen in their camp no lesser than 1200. 18th December 2021, they will return to base upon completion. In the course of the engagement, two of the troops were shot. However, it is known of special force operation that you don't leave troops behind. As we can see, the special force are administering first aid, also known as combat aid in care on the fire using tourniquet to arrest the bleeding before casualty evacuation. They have rescued the hostages and captured the leader of the set. I request you give them a round of applause, please. to the end of the armed combat display. I request to give them a resounding round of applause. Jumbi! <laughs>
the reviewing officer. The unarmed combat drill is to teach several techniques in Taekwondo, Karate, and Judo. These techniques include, but not limited to, basic stances, basic punching, attack and defense, breaking techniques, advanced cover movement, and throws. Officer, sir, an arm combat skill is necessary when other things have failed. A personnel must be able to defend himself or herself as a last resort when confronted by the enemy.
Trainees of the Nigerian Navy Basic Training School Badge 31. They are here full of vigor and energy to entertain you with a silent drill. It is a drill with no audible word of command, not even a word of commentary from this desk. The trainees will execute series of calculated drill movements and precision in handling of their personal rifles. It involves elaborate rifle spins and tosses in synchronized drill movements. Please sit back and enjoy the silent drill display.
the St. Andrews Corps just from the name of the Chief of the Naval Staff, Vice Admiral A.Z. Gambo, Admiralty Medal. I request we give them a sounding round of applause, please. Officers, sir, very senior officers, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. This salutation marks the end of the displays put together by the personal trainees of Nigerian Navy Basic Training School Batch 31. I humbly request to give them a resounding round of applause, please. me to at this point, humbly request the Commandant Nigerian Naval College, Commodore A.O. Ayovon, to please invite the Revenue Officer for the presentation of awards to the deserving Cadet Okonko holds a Bachelor of Science in Architecture from Imo State University. See, this camera is live, please. I know. Next is the Flag Officer Commanding Naval Training Command Award. This award is presented to the cadets who is second in order of merit amongst the passing out cadets of Direction Service Commission Class 28. The winner of this award is Alpha Squadron Senior Under Officer J.I. Atabo. So he holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Aircraft Engineering from Nigerian Air Force Institute of Technology. <laughs> Next is the Chief of the Naval Staff Award. This award is presented to the cadets who is first in order of merit amongst the passing out cadets of Direction Service Commission Class 28. The winner of this award is Deputy College Senior Under Officer D.O. Sani. She holds a Bachelor of Science in Nursing from Babcock University. <laughs> No, 
The reviewing officer sat next a special duty pre-commissioning cost 21 credit. The first award is the Commandant's Nigerian Naval College Award. This award is presented to the cadet who is third in order of merit amongst the passing out cadets of special duty pre-commissioning training course 2021. The winner of this award is Cadet Quartermaster S.J. Olale. So! She holds a higher national diploma in accounting from Nigerian Army School of Finance and Administration. Next is the Flag Officer Commanding Naval Training Command Award. This award is presented to the cadet who is second in order of merit amongst the passing out cadets of Special Duty Pre-Commissioning Training Course 2021. The winner of this award is Cadet Quartermaster O Anyogu. Sir! He holds a higher national diploma in maritime transport from Abia State Polytechnic. Okay. Next is the Chief of the Naval Staff Award. This award is presented to the cadet who is first in order of merit amongst the passing out cadets of special duty pre-commissioning training course 2021. The winner of this award is Cadet Provost Marshal A. O. Bell. Sir! He holds a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration from Olabisi Onobanjo University. The reviewing officer, sir. The next award is the most important award, the Chief of Defense Staff Award. This award is presented to the cadet that stands out in parade training, military bearing, power of command and leadership. Amongst the passing out cadets of Directional Service Commission Course 28 and Special Duty Pre-Commissioning Training Course 2021. The winner of this award is College Senior Under Officer M.M. Honor. She holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Accounting from National Open University of Nigeria. Thank you, sir. May I request the Commandant Nigerian Naval College, Commodore A.O. Ayobon, to please return to his seat, while the Commandant Nigerian Navy Basic Training School, Commodore Y.S. Idris, is humbly requested to assist the special guest of honor present awards to trainees. The Commandant, sir. Officer, sir. The first award is for the best male trainee in skill at arms. 
This award is known as the Flag Officer Commanding Naval Training Command Award. It is given to a trainee who excelled and was best overall in skill at arms during the period of the training. The winner of this award for the male category is trainee Haruna A. Sir. The best female trainee in skill at arms is trainee Omeje CP. Next is the award for the best trainees in marksmanship and weapon handling. This award is also known as the Flag Officer Commanding Naval Training Command Award. It is given to trainees who excel and was best overall in marksmanship and weapon handling during the period of the training. The winner of this award for the male category is trainee Yusuf M. So The best female trainee in marksmanship and weapon handling is trainee Inebe R.A. The next award is for the best trainees in obstacle crossing. This award is also known as the NAPSEX Award. It is given to the trainees who excelled and was best overall in obstacle crossing during the period of the training. The winner of this award for the male category is trainee Dio D. So. The best female trainee in obstacle crossing is trainee Obayemi B. The next category of awards is for the best trainees in cross country. This award is known as the Chief of Training and Operations Award. It is given to trainees who excel and distinguish themselves in long distance race competition during the period of the training. 
the winner of this award for the male category is trainee Mohammed I.A. So. The best female trainee in cross country is trainee Asilika H.A. The next award is for the second best overall trainee. This award is known as the Chief of Naval Staff Award. It is given to the trainee who excelled during the period of the training with an outstanding performance in both academic and military training. The winner of this award is trainee Udobu C.O. The Reveal Officer Sir, the last award, which is the most important award, is for the best overall trainee. This award is also known as the Chief of the Naval Staff Award. It is given to a trainee who excelled during the period of the training with an outstanding performance in both academic and military training. The Nigerian Navy Basic Training School Badge 31 Trainees Best Overall Winner Award goes to Trainee Abba R.O. Thank you, sir. That concludes the presentation of the awards. The Chairman, Senate Community on Navy, Senator George Sekibo. The Chairman, House Committee on Navy, Honorable Yusuf Dagdi. The Deputy Chairman, Senate Committee on Navy, Senator Elijah Abo, representatives of state governors here present, representative of Chief of Defense Staff, Service Chiefs and Inspector General of Police, the Commander, Operation Delta Safe, 
Rear Admiral Amino Hassan, Principal Staff Officers from Defense and Service Headquarters, General Officers Commanding, Flag Officers Commanding, Air Officers Commanding, Commandants and Commanding Officers of Military Formations here present, Senior Military Officers, both serving and retired, Heads of Paramilitary and Security Agencies here present, Captains of Industries and Corporate Friends of the Nigerian Navy, Your Royal Highnesses here present, my Lord, spiritual and temporal, personal cadets of direct short service course 28 and special pre-commissioning training 2021, trainees of the 31st batch NMBTS, ladies and gentlemen, Members of the First Estate of the Ring, it is with deep sense of fulfillment and gratitude that I thank the Almighty God and most sincerely welcome you all to the passing out parade of cadets of the Direct Short Service Course Commission, DSSC Course 28. Special Duty Pre-Commissioning Training, SDPCT 2021, and the Nigerian Native Basic Training School, Batch 31 Trainees, in on River State this morning. I am particularly glad to witness today's parade, which is a precursor to the commissioning ceremony of the 196 DSSC 28 and SDPCT 2021 cadets, as well as the graduation of 1,286 trainees of the ratings cadre. The 196 cadets comprise 153 male and 43 female, while 1,286 trainees comprise 1,088 male and 198 female. Let me remark that the Nigerian Naval College and the Nigerian Navy basic training school have remained the citadels of professional naval training within the nation and the sub-region. The college trains midshipmen and naval cadets in core maritime skills of the Nigerian Navy aimed at preparing them for further professional training and subsequent deployment for naval duties whilst the basic training school offers foundational training to all sailors of the Nigerian Navy. It is pertinent to mention that military service is a growing complex and dynamic operating environment as we have today most of necessity be proactive, flexible and innovative. Our nation has in the last few years been challenged by asymmetric and internal security threats emanating from insurgent groups, banditry, kidnapping, warranting critical operation and security engagement of the armed forces of Nigeria across different theaters of operations. In this regard, I am glad to note that in addition to supporting sister services in the Northeast, Northwest and North Central, joint operations 
against the Boko Haram insurgents and bandits, as well as ongoing internal security operations against secessionist groups in the southeast. The Nigerian Navy has, in the last couple of months, brought to bear her dominant status in the West African region by sustaining an aggressive presence in the nation's maritime environment, leading to the drastic reduction in acts of criminality in the Gulf of Guinea. This laudable development has been acknowledged by International Maritime Bureau in its Global Piracy Report of 14th July 2021, indicating the lowest total number of piracy and sea robbery attacks against shipping in the last 27 years. This report has corroborated by the Defense Web Maritime Security Report of 15th October 2021, which noted further decline in reported cases of piracy, armed attacks against shipping in the Gulf of Guinea, owing to the impact of Nigerian Navy maritime security operations efforts. Maintaining these successes will definitely be tasking and will require developing recognized skill and attitude through rigorous on-the-job training on board and ashore, as well as pragmatic training in all naval institutions, especially in this college and the basic training school. Presently, the Nigerian Navy has much intent with clear practical steps evident by ongoing fleet recapitalization and expansion program that has led to several endorsements of MOEs, particularly the contract with Mrs. Diasan Shipyard Limited, Turkey, for the acquisition of two brand new high endurance offshore patrol vessels due to be delivered to the Nigerian Navy within the next 37 months maximum. This acquisition, among others, as well as the recent commissioning of the indigenous rebuilt seaward defense boat SDB-3, NNS RG, NNS Lana, NNS Aba, NNS Kano, NNS Ikene, NNS Sokoto, and NNS Oshu, including Falcon I surveillance project with the strategic driven assets will further enable the Nigerian Navy to neutralize all maritime threats in Nigeria's maritime domain and Nigeria's area of interest. This has equally been substantial and instrumental in manpower development as well as ongoing forge of strategic collaborations with regional and more advanced navies. Thus, the Nigerian Navy has sustained active role in regional based exercises such as exercise of Angami Express and the exercise Grand Nemo. Equally, the Nigerian Navy has concluded collaboration efforts with the Ghana Navy to further combat piracy and maritime crimes in the Gulf of Guinea. Plans are ongoing for the establishment of a standing equals multinational task force in the Gulf of Guinea. Also, the Nigerian Navy recently hosted the Making Virtual Sea Power for Africa Symposium from 30th November to 2nd December this year. The symposium brought about uh, together 33 African navies and six 
other foreign navies. These efforts are targeted at improving information sharing, enhancing synergy towards the needed multi-pronged and multinational approach with force multiplier effects and positive implications for the Nigerian Navy's maritime policy function towards the economic development and prosperity of Nigeria and the West African sub-region. To the power personnel cadets of direct short service commission course 28 and special duties commissioning training 2021, no doubt the past few months must have been challenging given the rigors that you trainees have passed in telling your training. However, today, the beginning of service to your fatherland in the officer's cadre, and you must not relent on your efforts. A lot will be expected of you as newly commissioned officers, especially in the light of contemporary security challenges facing our nation. These challenges call for dedication, selflessness, professionalism, and esprit de corps, as I am sure you have discovered during the course of your training. For Bastatuan trainees of the Nigerian Navy, basic training school, the process of being transformed from a civilian into a military personnel is not an easy one. Not all the 1,299 trainees that were initially selected completed the training today. Your doggedness, perseverance, and determination is therefore commendable as the completion of your training is a testimony of your will and desire to serve in the noble profession of the armed forces of Nigeria. Let me therefore congratulate you all for the success you have achieved today. I know you have undergone six months of rigorous military training, theory and practical, which dovetail into the military sports week, eventually won by Centenary Division. I say congratulations. At this juncture, let me quickly add that the federal government remains committed to improving the welfare and operational requirements of members of the armed forces as they tackle the multifaceted security challenges across the nation. Definitely, Mr. President Muhammad Buhari, Grand Commander of the Federal Republic, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, expects you, the personnel, cadets, and trainees, to be loyal to constituted authority and be prepared to give necessary support to the Nigerian police force and other paramilitary agencies in the discharge of your duties. The Commander-in-Chief also expects you to be focused on your assigned duties to maintain peace and avoid actions that will bring disrepute to the Nigerian Navy and the Nigerian nation in general. As you interact with the civil populace, you must have respect for them and protect their human dignity. Is that clear? I therefore urge you to justify the huge resources that was committed for your training and your personal sacrifices to make the nation and the Nigerian Navy proud. One way you can do this will be by drawing from the knowledge 
and competence gained from the college and the basic training school for your future assignment. Another is by steering clear of the vices of today and negative peer group influence. I am therefore optimistic that your performance in the field will attest to the hard-earned reputation of the college and the basic training school as citadels of excellence in naval training. Distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, I want to particularly note with satisfaction the general ambience within the college environment as well as the scintillating performance of these graduates on parade a while ago. Permit me to therefore congratulate the Flag Officer Commanding Naval Training Command for his support and supervisory role to ensure that the cadets and trainees all turned out to become competent naval personnel. Thank you. In the same vein, I salute the rigors and dedication on the part of the commandants, academic and non-academic staff of the college and the basic training school. I charge you to strive towards improving the standards that you have already set in the two institutions. My sincere appreciation also goes to the leadership of the Nigerian Army, Nigerian Air Force, Nigerian Police, the Nigerian Customs Service, Nigerian Immigration Service, Nigerian Security, and Civil Defense Corps, National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, Federal Resort Corps, and Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency for their invaluable contribution towards grooming these young sailors for the Nigerian Navy. Distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, I will not fail to appreciate the governor and good people of River State for their good gestures, support and cordial relationship with the armed forces and the Nigerian Naval College in particular. I also wish to extend my appreciation to the traditional rulers of One, Ipokri, and Ogu communities for their harmonious relationship with the Nigerian Navy units in their homeland. Similarly, I say a big thank you to captains of industries and financial institutions for their invaluable support to the college and other Nigerian Navy units and establishments in your neighborhood. Finally, I wish to appreciate all the very special guests, service chief, general officers, commanding, flag officers, commanding, air officers, commanding, and principal staff officers of the naval headquarters here with me, the commandants and commanders of units and establishments, senior officers, all eminent personalities of staff ratings, relations and family of members of the passionate cadets and trainees in armies, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you most sincerely for gracing this auspicious occasion. I wish you Johnny Mercy back to your various destinations. As we say, in the Nigerian Navy, onwards together. Thank you. I humbly request we give the reviewing officer another reception.
for the national anthem. As we gradually come to the end of this auspicious occasion, permit me to make the following announcement. There will be a group photograph behind the parade ground by the flag poles. The group photograph will be in this order. The reviewing officer with the passing out cadets. Next is a reviewing officer with the passing out trainees according to their division. Permit me to inform you that the following distinguished personalities are requested to join the reviewing of Please be informed that after the parade, there will be the keeping and commissioning ceremony. This event will take place at the Nigerian Navy Basic Training School by Lynn Hall. And only guests with the appropriate parts will be allowed into the vein as there will be strict compliance with the National Center Disease Protocols on COVID-19. The rest of the family members will view the proceeding in the midshipmen auditorium. Ushers are stationed at each point to guide you to the auditorium. Permit me to once again announce that all VIPs on the front row, principal staff officers, from Defense and Service Headquarters, General Officers Commanding, Flag Officers Commanding, Air Officers Commanding, Rear Admiral Bob Manuel retired, Major General Ghana retired, I humbly request them to join the Revealed Officer for the group photograph. Being officer, sir, as this gentleman cadets file past this parade ground today, I would like to inform you that this is a milestone in the life of the passing out cadets. As the band played the musical tone composed by William G. Thomas for his bassist title, God Bless You Till We Meet Again. This implies that the cadets came from different cultures diverse backgrounds across all parts of Nigeria to train together as one family. As they leave this parade ground today, this will be the last time they will march together like this on this parade ground. This patriotic Nigeria is reserved our collective prayers as they begin their career in the Thank you. 
on France then in the Nigerian Navy. They would throw that to join the review officer for the group photograph. All VIPs on the front row. First of all, staff officers from Defense and Service Headquarters, General Officers Commanding, Flag Officers Commanding, and Air Officers Commanding, Rear Admiral Bob Manuel Retired, Major General Bernard Retired, I humbly request them to join the Green Officer for the group photograph. Officer for the group photograph, all VIPs on the front row, first of all staff officers from Defense and Service Headquarters, General Officers Commanding, Flag Officers Commanding and Air Officers Commanding, Rear Admiral Bob Manuel retired, Major General Ghana retired, I humbly request that to join the review officer for the group photograph. Please be informed that after the parade, there will be the peeping and commissioning ceremony. This will take place at Nigerian Navy Basic Training School Dining Hall, and only guests with the appropriate invitation cards will be admitted into the venue, as there will be strict compliance with the National Center for Disease Control. The rest of the family members will view the proceedings at the Michigan Auditorium. Ushers are stationed at each point to guide you to the auditorium. to join the Revealing Officer for the group photograph. Officer for the group photograph. All VIPs on the front row. Principal staff officers from the Defense and Service Headquarters. All representatives of state governors here present. General officers commanding. Flag officers commanding. Air officers commanding. Rear Admiral Bob Manuel retired. Major General Ghana. Retired. Rear Admiral T.J. Lucasen retired. I requested to join the review officer for the group photo group. Thank you very much, DMs. Permit me to acquaint us with the events that will follow immediately after the passing of the parade, we can have the traditional graduation. 
good photograph. Once more, may I request the following individuals to join the special guest of honor for the good photograph. They are the UFS on the front row, Parasos, Ebrosis, and from the retired community. We are set, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. We are set, sir. Thank you, sir. 